Okay, Rosalie. Thank you. Yeah, bye. -bye. bye. This is interesting. Hello. Hey, Reed. Hey, Dan. How you doing? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> got a couple of things, <clears throat> but first, I told your guy I had something really hot. I've had a call from. Uh, uh, a friend of mine, an investigator who has um, been doing some work on uh, TWA 800, a lot of work on TWA 800, and he's got some very, very hot material, which I am not going to discuss with you over the phone, but he says this is going to break, uh, and he wants to establish some contact with the appropriate congressional uh, sources so they can be prepared for this. How soon could he, can I talk to him? Uh, yeah, he's, he'd, be pretty, he'd be willing to talk to you, I told him, but, uh, but there's one thing that I had to tell him that bothers me and that uh, bothers him, and that's Dave Bossy. Well, he says, he, he, says he doesn't want this leaked in advance. Well, don't and, talk to Dave, just talk to me, I'm not going to tell Dave anything. Yeah. Reed, Reed, listen, Dave... I know Dave has his shortcomings, but he has been told clearly that he's going to be fired if I find out there's any kind of a leak coming from any place around him. Yeah. And, and so, you know, uh, I can't do anything about that uh, unless he screws up. Yeah. But you know me, and, and we've, we've talked for years, and, and if I tell you something, it's, it's going to be the straight scoop or I won't tell it to you. And I'm not going to, yeah. I'm not going to violate your trust. Yeah. I promise. Well, okay. Well, that brings up another question. The about other Ben Foster? That brings up the question about Bob Novak. Well, let me just say, I had an interview with Novak, and any time I'm talking to the media, even my good friend Bob Novak, I, I, I am not going to say that I'm going to reopen any investigation, uh, the, the travel office or FBI or Vince Foster or anything. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to look into things that I think are relevant and important, and I am going to do that. I, I told you that. But I'm not, you know, I'm not publicly going to get into uh, the, the media is waiting for me to start that so they can rehash all the things I did. Like when I took a 38 and had a policeman come out to see how far the sound would travel if somebody shot themselves in the head. But the reason I did that was because across the street was a Saudi... Uh, yeah, well, uh, sure. Like, I mean, and, I should... and, and I was, but they tried to make it look like I was some kind of a nut. Well, that's... And so what I'm trying to do, Reed, is make sure that we don't have that re-raise its ugly head again. You know, I talked about the semen in his shorts. And the uh, sexual experience, they died. Why would he do that? Well, they tried to make it look like I was insensitive. I mean, they're going to do everything they can to discredit me, and I've got to be very careful and selective in what I say and when I say it. Well, Dan, but you're, if you tell me one thing one one day and you tell Bob Novak something different, entirely different the next day, that, makes, that, make, that makes me look like a real asshole, I'll have I to tell, tell you that. Hey, Reed, I didn't tell him anything any different. Well, you told him you weren't uh, going to revisit this. I, oh, no. What I said was, that unless I have additional information that would lead me to believe that we ought to reopen any of the investigations, then I'm not going to do anything like this. Mm. Now, that doesn't mean, see, that I'm going to I'm going to be looking into to all this to try to find out if there is additional information. But publicly, I'm not going to reopen the investigation unless I get something. There's no need to do it. Look, I gave you uh, I gave you additional information I last know, week, Reed, and I'm going through it. And if that kind of isn't, isn't that isn't that additional information that you didn't have before? I have, yeah. I have not digested it yet. I, I've been trying to hire staff and get that done. But after I after I I, I, I re study that and go through it, if there's something there, as you say there is, and you and I've talked about it, that 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 would shed new light on the thing. Of course, I'm going to explore. Well, Dan, I don't want to get in an argument with you, except I would say this, that you you told me that you had no doubt yourself in your own mind that Foster's body has been moved. The evidence certainly I, indicates I, that. I, 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 you don't I, need anything new above and beyond what is already available in the record to to demonstrate that point. And if you're telling me that uh, that, that knowledge is not enough to, uh, to prompt you to investigate the Foster case, I'm very surprised. Read... Listen to me. I, 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 I am going to look into every aspect of every one of these investigations. I'm going to go through all the files that Klinger had. I'm going to go through my files. I've got a deposition from the man that found his body. You know all that. But I'm not going to divulge how I'm going to conduct any of this until the proper time. And what I need is I need something to hang my hat on that will show there's additional information or evidence. All right. Now, now you got to do that in a very careful way. Otherwise, 
the liberal media is going to have a field day. And, and, you know, I can't just go right out, right off the bat, and start. they're expecting me to do that. They're expecting me right off the bat to go start beating on the foster issue. And I, I just, I, I can't do that right off the bat. Just give me, give me a little bit of time to go through this. Okay? Well, I've got to, you know, if I'm going to give you this other thing, Dan, I've got to be able to trust, feel I've got to be able to, to, to trust you. And, uh, Look, you, 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 you really, you, you really shaken me by what you've told me just now. What? What have I told you just now? Well, because it's the exact opposite of what you told me last week. Well, I didn't tell you anything different than this last week. I don't know what you got out of that conversation, but I'm being well, very You told me you were going to investigate the foster case, and I've been telling people that... I'm telling people, uh, telling people that, and uh, some of them say, oh, don't believe Dan Burton. He blows hot and cold, and he uh, doesn't deliver. I don't deliver. blow hot and cold. I do what I say I'm going to do. And read, if you don't trust me, if you don't want to give me information, then don't do it. Well, I would not want you to violate your own confidence or your own conscience. I'm just telling you that as chairman of this committee, I've got three investigations right now. i got travel office, i got FBI, and i got all these these illegal contributions. And I've got to, I've got to deal with those. Now, Foster, I, I told you, and I still believe this, and I said, I said it on the record uh, to, to uh, uh, the New York Times or Washington Post, I can't remember which one. I said, I do not recant anything I said about Foster. I believe his body was moved. I believe that report was in error. I believe what the confidential witness said. But I've got to do this at the right time. And I don't think starting right off the bat doing this would be the right thing to do because that would they would try to blow that up and make it look like I was not a credible chairman. And so what I've got to do is deal with the things that are on my plate right off the bat, which are travel office, uh, file gate office, a uh, file office, issue the FBI files and, and this is this issue right now and Foster you may rest assured I'm going to look at all the documents I possibly can I'm going to look at those pictures I'm going to look into that but I don't want you going telling people that I'm reopening the investigation well I don't want you to do that well I'm sorry you didn't tell me you didn't want people to tell of that. course I don't want you to do that you didn't say My you, God, you didn't say this is just between you and me well I'm telling you right now Reed if you go out and start telling everybody I'm reopening the Foster investigation and they come to me I'm going to say, look, I've got these other things to do right now. If something new pops up on Foster, I'll look at it. But right now, I'm not going to go well. into that. And the reason I'm going to tell everybody that, Reed, is because I, I, I just tried to explain it to you very clearly. This is not the time to be beaten on that drum until we're ready. Well, you should have told me that last week. Well, who because... have you been talking to? Listen, I've just sent a report to the printer, which I've told people that you've assured me that you were going to investigate this. Which is exactly what you told me, me and Joe Golden. I mean, this isn't something that, uh, you know, you didn't say, look, Reed, keep this quiet, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I had no understanding that this was not, uh, uh, you know, some kind of off-the-record discussion. I laid out for you what the evidence is that I think is is overwhelming of the things that you can do immediately. Why in the hell would you come and have a meeting with me and then go right to the press? And well, the press, I am I am I, 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 I am the press. I mean, I've got to... Well, I'm not going to go... Look, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go into discussions with anybody anymore if, if, if everything I say to you in, in well, a closed you, meeting like that's in the... Well, there are two things board. that you know the rules as well as I do. If you say off the record, it's off the record. You didn't say it's off the record. I had no, I had no notion. You tell me you believe something and so on. I had, I mean, why in the hell would you want to... Uh, you tell me something you're going to do, why in the hell would you want to deny that that you're going to do it. I mean, you didn't say that you're not going to investigate. You said you are going to investigate. And I believed you. Now I'm, now I, you know, I, 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 I've mentioned this to several people, and as I say, some of them say, well, don't believe him. Well, then don't believe me. But, uh, well, you tell me, you're telling me yourself I shouldn't believe you. All right, don't Because you say you're not, uh, you're not going to do it. But I'm just, you know, I mean, uh, that's, as I say, this other thing I've got is a tremendous story. And, well, then you uh, can do what you want to with it, Reed, but I'll tell you, I, I, I'm disappointed because I told you in that meeting that I was going to look into all these things, but I didn't want any public... I didn't. Want no, you didn't tell me you didn't want any public. Oh, okay. You did not tell me that. You only listen to the things you want to listen to. You did not say you did not want any... You did not say this is off the record. You did not say don't tell anybody else this. Well, this is just between you and me. I took it as a discussion between two people that are interested in it, achieving the same objective, and that is breaking this case open. I thought that's what you wanted to do, and I gave you 
I gave you a memo, which I guess you haven't read. I have not read that yet. I've been too busy, Reed. i got to hire staff. i got 105 people well, i got to hire. I understand. Oh my God, you guys come over and want to solve all the problems. Well, the first day we're, I become chairman. No, we're trying to, trying to help you. I spent a lot of time laying out for you exactly what you could do the, the first week you're over there, and that is... Uh, get get the uh, Secret Service guys to tell you what in the hell uh, the memos, what they got, and uh, expose the lies that have been told. And you're not going to be made to look like a horse's ass doing that because the facts are there. The fact is that there was a story in the Washington Times yesterday about... Did you read that story by Ambrose in the Times yesterday? No, I have not. Front page, Ambrose Evans Pritchard, about David Watkins and his wife, both saying that they knew... They were informed of uh, Foster's death long before the White House uh, said they were front page of the Washington Times yesterday. Well, I'll, I'll get I'll get a copy of it and take a look at it. And they're, uh, I mean, that's this is something you're you're making a big mistake in my view. If you say, well, gee, the media are going to jump all over me, I can't I can't do anything because they're going to they're going to hit me. They're going to hit you anytime. All right. Uh, I've been dealing with these guys for a long time. I mean, you've got to be courageous and you've got to have the well, the guts yeah, be to do. It. That's why I gave you those. You're not the chairman of the committee, you've got to let me run my committee. I know, but I'm telling you, do I'm telling you, don't be, don't be a wimp, that's all. Jesus Christ. Don't be a wimp and let the media bamboozle you. I mean, that's... Well, I'm not going to be a wimp with anybody, and that includes you. I don't like you doing this. Well, don't it like really me... bothers me. Don't like me doing what? Well, you know, we have a meeting, and you immediately print a report and start telling what I'm going to do in the committee. For Christ's sake, you don't... Listen, Dan, if you didn't want to be known, well, you shouldn't have said it. Or you should have said, look, this is confidential, don't tell anybody. You didn't do that. There, there's no need talking any further. I'll review the stuff that you gave me, and I'll take a look at that Washington Times article. By all means, I urge you to do that, and I will, uh, we'll see what we can do about this other guy. Okay, when, when, you, how, when are you going to be back in town? I won't be back in town until after the first of the year. If you want to talk to me or if you want to before that, you know, just give me a call. Okay. Thanks. There you go.